Oh, why are you so sad, little kitty? Kitty wants to farm. That's great. So, what's the concern? Go have fun. Yeah, no story. Hmm, I understand. But what if I tell you, you can still do farming without soil. Really? Yes. So in today's episode, let me reveal this magical technique of farming by answering an evergreen question. What is hydroponics? Zoom in. As we know, in a traditional method of farming, plants need sunlight, water, carbon dioxide and most importantly soil for vital minerals and nutrients. But this soil-based agriculture has its own challenges as it needs constant supply of fertilizers for good quality crops and pesticides for eliminating soil-borne pests and diseases which can be harmful to human health and the environment. So to avoid these issues, ancient Babylonians started a water-based method called hydroponics which consists of two parts hydro which means water and phonos which means labor and as the name implies here the water does all the hard work for providing the required nutrients to the growing plant in the absence of soil but the vital question is how does it work without soil well, you will be surprised to know that the soil itself is not really required by the plants to grow. Instead, it is just the nutrients present in it. So, all we need to do is put the required nutrients in the water itself and give the plant the proper environmental conditions like temperature and pH balance and soon it will grow without any need for soil. Isn't it interesting, friends? But the important thing to remember here is that a particular environment and nutrients won't work for all types of plants. So it has to be adjusted accordingly. It means that growing carrots will take a different type of temperature, nutrient-rich water and even technique than growing tomatoes or any other plant. So, let us look at a few types of hydroponic systems that are in use in modern times, starting with the deep water culture system. The deep water culture system involves the growing of plants held in nets with their roots submerged in nutrient mixed water. This water solution has an air stone connected to an air pump to increase the oxygen in the water, which helps the roots to grow. Next, let's look at the wick system, which uses a soft fabric string made of cotton or nylon known as a wick. In this system, the liquid solution flows up the wick until the medium surrounding the roots is wet. Once the medium dries out, the wick will again absorb the liquid. Next comes NFT. No, no, not the crypto tokens, but a system of hydroponics known as nutrient film technology. In this method, the plants are suspended above nutrient water continuously flowing through a sloped channel, which assists in providing the right amount of nutrients to all the roots. I know what you are thinking. Is there any way to use even less water? Well, yes. The solution to this problem is a system called aeroponics. In this method, the roots of the plants are hanging in the air in a compartment. Then they are sprinkled with a fine mist of water containing nutrients. This way, you save a lot of water and the roots have good access to oxygen. 
So, here we go friends. These are some of the methods used in the hydroponic system. But there are many others. So, please do your research and determine the best mode for you. Trivia time! Did you know, unlike the traditional method, the hydroponic system needs only 10% water to cultivate the crops? Yes, because of all these advantages, NASA is using these techniques in its space programs. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, never mind.